This refers to a Japanese high-speed train known as the bullet train. If you need and the train's carriage is lifted off its rubber wheel.
has significantly inflated the cost of the maglev line. The initial estimate of $13.7 billion has skyrocketed to a staggering $64 billion, making it one of the most expensive mega-projects ever undertaken in Japan. Consequently, many in Japan are now questioning whether the new line is worth such a substantial investment. Indeed, there are several drawbacks to Japan's maglev technology. Once completed, the operating costs of maglev trains will be higher than those of regular high-speed trains due to their increased energy consumption. Furthermore, the smaller carriages of maglev trains will be capable of accommodating fewer passengers, and the frequency of train services will be reduced. Unlike the Tokyo-Osaka bullet train line, where trains run approximately every three minutes, maglev trains will only be able to operate every 10 minutes due to the longer switching time required on the maglev track. Previously, Japanese rail companies generated significant revenue by selling their technology abroad. However, China has emerged as a dominant player in high-speed rail, housing two-thirds of the world's entire high-speed network. While China's intercity lines do not utilize maglev technology, they have begun developing their version of it. In July 2021, China tested a maglev train that reached speeds of 600 km per hour, nearly breaking Japan's record. Theoretically, this train could travel from Beijing to Shanghai in just three and a half hours, faster than the four and a half hours it takes by plane. With China's advancements in high-speed rail, there is less incentive for Japan to sell its maglev technology to other countries. Given these circumstances, one might wonder why Japan remains committed to building the maglev line and why the government granted JR Central the authority to complete it a decade ahead of schedule. If the Chuo Shinkansen proves successful, it has the potential to create a seamless connection between Tokyo and Osaka, effectively profoundly linking these regions. The concept of connecting megacities through strategic infrastructure is becoming increasingly appealing worldwide. Examples include the merging of cities in China's Pearl River Delta region and the blurring of boundaries between cities along the northeastern United States, from Washington, D.C. to Boston. Similar trends can be observed in Western Europe. Such mergers have the potential to create economic powerhouses on an unprecedented scale. When the bullet train was initially constructed over half a century ago, it faced ridicule from the world. However, it ultimately facilitated Japan's growth by connecting regions and sharing prosperity. In the following decade, Japan's economy expanded from being just 10% of the size of the U.S. economy to becoming the world's second largest. While the success of the new maglev line remains to be seen, the prospect of moving people between major cities in record-breaking time opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload a new video. See you next time.